water. One drop at a time, it forms rivers, carves valleys, and fills oceans. Like drops of water, the 2012 Pew Marine Fellows will now add their distinct talents to tackle pressing problems facing our seas. Selected by the Pew Fellows Program in Marine Conservation to conduct a three-year scientific or conservation project, they will seek solutions to challenges in our oceans. In Brazil, less than 2% of the country's marine ecosystems are protected. To address this gap, Guilherme Dutra of Conservation International will lead efforts to expand the Abroios Marine Protected Area Network to more than double Brazil's marine area under protection today and advance marine spatial planning in the country. Goliath grouper is considered a critically endangered fish in United States and Caribbean waters. However, this species is not protected in Cuba, and much of its biology and local habitat is unknown. Gathering data about Goliath grouper ecology to support its conservation, Fabian Piña Amargos from the Center for Coastal Ecosystem Research in Cuba will develop a conservation plan of action for this fish. Peru is the largest global producer of fish meal, used mostly for animal feed and fish oil. Extracted from fish called anchoveta, this massive industry impacts a highly productive marine ecosystem and diverts an important protein source for Peru's population. Patricia Machluf of the Universidad Peruana Cayetano Heredia will engage the Peruvian fishing and processing industry, activist chefs, and the international sustainable seafood movement to move this fishery towards sustainability. Financial subsidies to the fishing sector are considered a major impediment to sustainable management of marine resources. Claire Nuvian of Bloom Association will create the French Fisheries Financial Observatory, which will work to establish long-term transparency on subsidies. The observatory will seek to ensure that public expenditures are in compliance with European Union objectives and international law and support economic and ecological viability. The Earth's climate will shift substantially over the next 50 years, with significant increases in average global temperature. Seeking to expand our understanding of how organisms and ecosystems will respond to these climate changes, Steve Munch of the U.S. National Marine Fisheries Service will research tools for forecasting climate-driven impacts on fisheries, such as reproductive success, mortality, and population growth. Climate change will also impact coastal areas through storm surge and sea level rise. The risks to coastal ecosystems will be magnified by the use of gray infrastructure, such as concrete seawalls to fortify coastlines. Mike Beck of the Nature Conservancy will explore values and develop tools that reinforce the role of coral reefs and wetlands, known as green infrastructure, for climate adaptation and coastal resilience. His project aims to turn a threat of shoreline hardening into an opportunity for conservation and restoration. One project at a time, one fellow at a time, one drop at a time. The 2012 Pew Fellows in Marine Conservation will each contribute to healthy oceans. And together, they will make an ocean of change.